I'm Marie. Welcome to Marie's Kitchen. Today we're making black eyed peas. This recipe is perfect if you have a tradition of eating black eyed peas on New Year's Day for good luck. But this recipe is also great for any time of year. These black eyed peas are nutritious and delicious. They're warm and satisfying. And best of all, this recipe is so easy. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Let's get started. Okay, real quick, let's go through our ingredients. We're gonna start with about four slices of bacon, and this is sliced up. You could also use some pre-sliced pancetta if that's easier. Then we're gonna use about a cup of chopped celery, a cup of chopped carrot, and the same of a sweet onion. Next is a few cloves of garlic. Next is fresh black-eyed peas. You can find these in the fresh vegetable section of your grocery store. Then we'll add some fire roasted diced tomatoes. If you can't find the fire roasted, just get traditional or regular diced tomatoes. Next is beef broth or chicken broth would work as well. For a little extra flavor, we're using some white balsamic vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, and some slap your mama. <laughs> this is a little spicy, so start with less and then you can always add more. Okay, now that we have the ingredients, let's get cooking. First step, we'll take our bacon and put it in a Dutch oven. And I have that on about a medium to medium high heat. And we're just gonna cook the bacon. Next, we'll add our onion, carrots, and celery. Now we'll add our onion. It's about to smell real good in here. Onion and bacon. <laughs> we have our live studio audience, my daughter, who's <laughs> commentating on everything. We're just cooking the onions in the bacon grease and it smells amazing in here. Now we can add our carrots. and then the celery. Next, we're gonna add the garlic, and I am using this Alpha Grillers garlic press. I love it, you don't actually have to peel the garlic, you just pop it right in there. These cloves are real small, so I'm using two at a time there. And we'll just press it right out, comes out real easily, all that garlic. And uh, then we'll do a couple more. There we go. There's our garlic. I'm gonna give this a stir while it's cooking. It's looking really good. And now we'll add our garlic. Now the black eyed peas. This is 11 ounces of fresh black eyed peas. We're gonna add those in. Black eyed peas. Okay, now with the garlic in there, now it really smells good. <laughs> now we can add our beef broth, chicken broth, or you could even use water. You can use low sodium if you prefer, I often do, and then just add as much salt as I want to it. This is not a low sodium, so I probably won't need to add a lot of salt. Next step is our can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Whole thing goes right in. We'll give that a little stir here. And then finally, the last two main ingredients is white balsamic vinegar. This is one of my favorite ingredients. I always have it in my pantry and I use it in a lot of my recipes. So if you can find some white balsamic 
vinegar. I highly recommend it. It's got a great flavor, a little hint of sweetness. Um, it's kind of like red balsamic, but without the dark color and without those real caramel undertones. So white balsamic vinegar, we're gonna use a tablespoon. And then we're gonna use a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So let's add those. Now we'll bring that to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer, which is just a very, very low boil. And we'll cook it for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the beans are soft. Okay, the peas are done. They look delicious. It smells so good in the house. And you do want the beans nice and soft. You don't want them to have any crunch in there. So go ahead and just keep cooking them until they're nice and soft. It may need five or 10 more minutes, um, depending on your stove. One other thing to note is that while they're cooking, a lot of the water does evaporate, and so you wanna go ahead and add another cup of water while they're cooking if needed. You wanna keep it kinda of nice and soupy. You don't want it to dry out. So let's have a taste. They look so good. Mmm, delicious. Really great, rich flavor. Really, really good with the beef broth and the tomatoes and the bacon, just delicious. This has plenty of seasoning from the beef broth, but if you wanna add more salt, pepper, or some spice, please feel free to do that. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made these delicious and easy black-eyed peas, perfect for your New Year's Day celebration or really any time of year. This recipe is easy and they turn out delicious and nutritious, warm and satisfying. I really hope you get to try it. For this recipe and more, check out my website, mariesaba.com. There's a link in the description box below directly to the website with this recipe, so check there. And if you have any questions, always feel free to email me, marie at mariesaba.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We so appreciate your likes. And also hit that subscribe button. We've got more videos coming up every week and I don't want you to miss any of them. My goal is to give you some really easy recipes that turn out great every time so you can build some confidence in the kitchen and then feel really inspired to share good food with people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you.